it is the year 2188. After many years of war and plague, it seems the world is at peace. An organization which duty it is to keep at the peace has been established. It is called the Peacekeepers League and has served their res respective cities well for years. But there is one army that keeps wanting to disturb the tranquility of one city. An army not belonging to any country, but a mad professor named Darnicus Damnation. The Army of the Grinning Darns. Hello everyone and welcome to Noitu Love and the Army of the Grinning Darns. This was a game I managed to come across from something in Naka Talili's channel when he played Noitu Love 2 De Evolution. Made by the same guy who made Iconoclast, Conchat. Um, he has an interesting way to pronounce his name. I always pronounce it Joachim Sandberg because it started with a J, but if I'm remembering the pronunciation he did during his news reports, I think it was Joachim Sa Sandberg. I am horrible with pronunciations, so I'm not going to butcher anything anymore. Now, speaking this is the first Noi 2 Love game, it has some very old controls. In other words, I use the arrow keys to move around, and I use the shift key to jump, and the control key to attack. You could imagine how awkward it is to play like that. But I'm going to give myself five lives because I suck at this game, because this is based on old NES games and it is hard. But it's fun. So without further ado, let's get started, shall we? And start at level one, under destruction. Stage one, start. The army of the Grinning Darns is attacking! It's that evil Professor Dronicus Damnation again. What could he be up to now? I guess we'll find out soon enough. You have yet to let me down, Noitu Love. And I guess I should introduce this character. This is Lori! She is the commander of this branch of the Peacekeepers. And this is your simple beat em up. There we go. Helps if I actually do things properly. Hey, and I actually should show off some attacks. So you've got your basic attack, which is a three hit attack. You can attack in the air. And if you hit both at the same time, you do a special, which is very weak, but can do quite a bit. And then these, I think, only come in handy for giving extra life, these little chemical vials. Now, I have beaten this game. Ah! And if you hear that sound effect, the truck's gonna charge. Never gets to the end of the screen, though. And done. Oh, these things are a bit of a pain in the butt, but as long as you keep their distance, they never really hit you. <coughs> Yeah, like an old style beat em up, you kind of want to just lure things towards you instead of going full frontal. That's the way old NES beat em ups were. Be careful around this darn duo with the cannons. Try to get really close before you try to attack. I doubt you're going to get hurt just by touching the cannon. And she's not wrong, but it's just getting into position. Because that blast from the cannon does hurt. such a simple little game, and the screen is so tiny. If I could show you how tiny the screen is, you'd really have to be playing on the small screen resolution possible. Okay, at least I found a nice little safe zone. Haha! <laughs> Man, this poor place... Is this... The ap an apartment building? It looks like it. Hmm. 
There. Act jerk. Oh well, that's why there's health everywhere. I'm surprised I didn't get hit there. Oh, these controls are still awkward to me. And to those of you curious, yes, you have to disable sticky keys and stuff like that. hits in as you can. There we go. Not really too much to say. This game is very simple. Oh, hello, Darnicus. <laughs> if it isn't little Noi to love. Like what I've done with the place? It's Darnicus. Well, I can't really stay because there's lots of mischief to be done, my boy. Oh my god. This is the Evomatic. They were experimental machines developed by a mysterious organization. It allows the user to change physical form to something else in the human evolution. They were discontinued since it was obviously seen as reckless to tamper with our evolution. What is Darnicus planning to do with these machines? Maybe... Maybe you can make use of the, them somehow. And we can by hitting the up button. We can turn into a monkey! Monkey can't attack, but monkey can jump very, very high and is very fast. Whoop. Goodbye. Ignoring you. And ignoring you. Ow. Good thing I left that heart behind. Thank you. And this is why you should always clear out a room, too. Okay, up we go. Up and over. And now we have a room where we're kind of going to be uh, needing some fun here with a power up! And you want to try and clear things out as quick as you can because it wears off very quickly. And there we go! <coughs> now we just change back because we need to destroy this crate. You're doing great, Noitu. By the way, these paint blocks are not as sturdy as the other similar blocks are. Which means we can destroy it. Haha. -ha. And then I think we just turn back into a monkey. So we can get... I want that extra life. There we go. And then we can drop down. And why'd I jump? Mixing up my controls again. Well, I destroyed that. And down we go. Like I said, this game's all about leading enemies into the area you want. And I'm mix mixing up buttons again. There we go. I'll take those. They're there. Ow. I got caught in the blast radius that time. Oh, my hand's going numb. That's never a good thing. Too cold. Oh, are we near this point already? Guess we are. <laughs> Run to sweet. Park here. <laughs> well, he is a Swedish man, so makes sense that he have Swedish in his own game. There we go. Another purple darn. <laughs> oh, my hand is cold. Okay, we got another moo crush. This 
this guy's interesting. He dashes, goes over, and he intends to throw bombs at you, but you can get him stuck in a loop very easily. It's actually a pretty neat character still. Alright. We should be nearing our boss fairly soon. You've noticed, probably noticed I haven't been using this special very often, and that's only when you kind of get surrounded that it's a good effort to use. Just because it's so weak. Hmm. Yep, we're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Noitu, we see. Is going to die. <coughs> Alright, so the way this boss works is he has tells. Like this one. Oh, alright, I have to hit back the middle one. I always forget about that. So pretty much you just want them to try and tackle you, and then aim for the middle guy. Darn it. it wasn't quite close enough. If it isn't apparent, I'm very out of practice with this boss. But still very simple boss. Darn it, I missed. And now my foot fell asleep. <laughs> It is very easy to coax the boss into doing what you want it to, though. And especially when he's being very simple for once. I have never had an instance where it's done the thrusters so often. Normally they like sending out their darn minions. Ta-da! Yeah. This... This happens not! Incredible! You should try to get to headquarters as fast as you can, Noitu. Level clear. The music always bugs out here on me. So what type of score did we end up getting? Nice! Not bad at all! And stage two. Which, I'm gonna save for next time. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode of Let's Play Noi 2 Love and the Army of the Grinning Darns. This is Adam Child saying, I'll see you all next time.